Okay, so let's get started. Come to a nice, comfortable sitting position on your mats. Feel free to let me know about the, the volumes here with the music, if it's too low um, or if it's okay. We're going to find some length in our spine and neck. Go ahead and drop your gaze, your drishti down a little bit in front of you and closing your eyes. Taking a few moments here to land on the mat. Going down. Giving ourselves a little rest. And calming down here, noticing how we're doing today. And accepting how we are, allowing things to be exactly as they are right here and now. So saying yes to the present moment with no resistance. If you would like to set an intention or focus for today's practice, then you can do that now. So we're going to begin to connect with our bandhas, the internal locks, mula bandha, the air between our legs. Yuriyana Bandha, the abdominal locks. Feeling its length up along our spine, neck, sending the top of the head up towards the sky. And our throat lock, Yanadaka Bandha, so the chin a little lengthening down towards the chest. Relaxing the face. And finding our active breath. Closing the mouth, breathing in and out through the nose. And begin to create this whispering or this H sound from the back of our throats. So today's class is a feel-good yoga flow. It's going to be quite similar to the class that we did on Monday, the Hatha yoga class. But as that one was more Hatha-based, so more um, staying in the poses for a little bit longer and exploring, this one we're going to be flowing a little bit more around the poses. When you're ready here, we're gonna give ourselves a little hug. So bringing the legs up. So you can just choose to grab around your legs or maybe just wrapping the hands around our thighs here and having some distance between our legs. It makes it a little bit easier to sit and fold over and then relaxing in the head and neck, just dropping it forwards. Feel free to explore the pose here. So maybe shifting the weight a little bit from side to side. So 
So however, we're holding our hands now, we're gonna shift them to just hugging around our thighs. Then we're gonna start to walk the feet more and more forwards towards this seated forward fold. So we just get as far as we get here today and then using the weight of the legs to help pull ourselves down and over. Keep engaging the bambas, finding this length along the spine, top of the head, sending it further forwards. Taking a few deep breaths here, relaxing more and more. Deeper and deeper into the pose. Maybe rocking to and to side to side. One last breath. We're gonna come up to sitting here, releasing the legs, clasping the hands together, grabbing, holding, pressing it against, and then making a little movement here in the wrist. So think of maybe doing this like infinity sign or making the number eight, maybe a little bit back and forth, up and down, and shaking out the hands. You can grab one hand here with the other, start like massaging the fingers, your hand, your palm, moving down along the forearm, just creating a little activity, a little massage and increasing some blood flow here and changing hands. So the other hand is grabbing, squeezing here a little bit, massaging around. Okay, very nice. Shaking out the hands. So we're gonna bring both hands back here behind us for a little back bend, heart opener. So hands, fingertips either at the side or facing towards your seat. Elbows back, open the heart, and then sending up towards the sky. So feel free to explore the pose here. So maybe some yes and no movements, rolling the shoulders, lifting and dropping the chest, maybe leaning a little bit from side to side. One final breath. So here, bring the feet to the mat, finding our reverse tabletop. So just gently here now, pressing down into the feet of the hands, lifting the hips up. So staying here, keeping the bundles activated. And as well, exploring if it feels nice. So leaning from side to side, sending the weight forwards and backwards onto the hands and feet. Trying to keep the arms rotated here and the biceps forward. One final breath. Dropping the hips, rolling down to our spine and coming to laying on our backs. Little modified Siddha Madhasana, so pressing the feet down, arms along the side, and the hips are coming up. So focusing on activating your thighs, your glutes, your back, and opening the front body. And feel free to explore the pose here. So maybe keep your arms down out to the side or over your head. Lifting and lowering the hips a little bit. Final breath. On the exhale, we're going to come down, grab our legs, give ourselves a little hug here. Massaging the back. Start rolling along your spine, thinking the next two breaths or so, we're gonna come up to sitting. So straightening out the legs in front of us, we're gonna grab one of our foot. So I like to do the opposite foot and hand here, but you might wanna do the same hand and foot. So your choice. But when we grab hold here, we're gonna press into the hand. So pulling and opening up between our shoulder blades, especially the one arm that you're grabbing here. And then we're going to go ahead and explore this pose so we can lower and raise the foot, maybe a little bit out to each side. So we're really opening up and exploring the whole area between our shoulder blades. Deep breath. One final breath. On the exhale, letting go of the foot, so either on the inside or the outside of the leg, and then coming in here to our twist. So grabbing with the opposite arm, length up through the spine, and then opening up to the side wall or gazing behind us. Two. 
Very nice. Send three. Releasing on the exhale and changing sides. So first here, grabbing the hand, uh, grabbing the foot, <laughs> grabbing the head with your, gra with your foot. Grab your hand with your foot. So pressing in here and exploring. Deep breaths, maybe even think of directing your breath into your back and around your shoulder blade. So this might be a little bit of a stretch on the outside of your leg as well. Maybe you're feeling something in your, um, in your hamstring or maybe even in your seat. Okay, so releasing here, finding the twist. So the foot is down on the inside or the outside, grab a hold and this length and then coming into the twist. Final breath. Releasing on the exhale, coming out here, shaking out the legs a little bit. So we're going to roll over. Coming into all four, but move, walking the hands a little bit further forward for our modified plank. So leaning into the hands. So being careful here, remember rotate the biceps forwards. Think your shoulders are directly above your hands or maybe the shoulders are a little bit further past your hands, maybe even over your fingertips. And then leaning a little bit from side to side here. So warming up our hands, wrists and forearms a little bit more. Pulling the stomach in, finding that long lower spine. Okay, transitioning into upward dog. So going over to the top of the feet, pressing down and then lowering the hips down towards the floor. So here activating more and more, so pressing down, activating the thighs, the glutes, rotating the biceps, pressing down, opening the heart, finding this long spine, activating the back. Last breath. And then pulling the stomach in, coming back here to our balasana, or child's pose. And again, maybe finding some movement in the body, the hips, going a little bit from side to side. Last breath, coming forwards again here to our plank position. This time moving into the full version, so coming up on the balls of our feet, setting the weight further forwards, and hold, in with the stomach, long spine. Very nice, yogis. Dropping the hips here, coming into our upward dog, so pressing into the feet, open the heart and chest, find that length in your spine. Deep breath. One final one. Dropping the knees down, coming back here through all fours, and then transitioning into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Three breaths here to just enjoy the pose, opening up the body, walking the legs, doing what feels nice. Two. And three. So we're gazing forwards on the inhale, really pressing into your hands. On the exhale, bending both knees. And we're gonna to start to walk forwards to the hands. Keeping the straight arms the entire time until we get forwards. Shifting the weight into our feet here for Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Exploring, bending, straightening, walking the legs. Maybe folding the arms, twisting a bit from side to side. Just doing what feels nice for you. Dropping the hands, finding a little flat back flow. On your next inhale, coming halfway up. And on the exhale, folding over. Two more. Inhale, coming halfway up, finding this length in your body. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, pressing into the feet, active thighs, halfway up, in with the stomach. Exhale, folding over. And on your next inhale, all the way up to stand. Setting the arms out to the side and up for upward salute. Breathing out, pulling the hands down. 
finding our mountain pose so just taking a moment here so option to have some space between your feet or the big toes together spreading pressing down active thighs hips underneath us feeling the bandhas the length along the spine neck throat is coming down opening up the hands sending your breath into your chest two On your next inhale, sending the fingers up towards the sky. So you can choose here, either space between the hands, pressing the hands together or fold, um, uh, clasping the hands and maybe pointing the pinkies or the index fingers up in a pistol grip. So continuously pressing down and sending the arms up to find some length. Keeping this active pose, we're gonna start sending the gaze or drishti up past our hands. Really activating the thighs and your glutes. Start moving deeper into a little back bend here. So using the back to lean further and further back. Remembering this feeling that we have in our body on the exhale, we're gonna to begin to release and coming down. On the next inhale, arms are coming up one more time. We're finding a little side stretch. So length up and then over to the side on the exhale. On the inhale, coming up. And on the exhale, other side. Two more. Inhale, coming up and out. Inhale up, other side. Last round, inhale, come up, find this length, maybe opening your heart as well. Exhale, leaning over. Inhale up, exhale, other side. Inhale up and dropping the hands down, bringing them back behind us, folding the fingers, opening the heart and chest. Staying here for a moment, finding the pose. Sending the hands away from the glutes and then folding the hips and coming forwards into our forward fold. Now maybe you're okay here if you're, or if you wanna go a little bit deeper. Bring your shoulder blades together, shoulders away from the ears, but then keep dropping the hands down towards the floor. Two. And three. On the exhale, letting go of the hands. Uttanasana, falling over. Preparing for our yogi squat, Malasana. So walking the feet a little bit out to the sides, toes pointing out, and then we're gonna to start to drop the hips lower down. So you get as far as you get here, keeping the whole soles of the feet, all the toes down. So using your glutes to rotate, or not rotate, but the knees out to the side, and then pushing with the elbows, hands together. The bundles are active, long neck, relax your face. Final breath, three. So we're gonna include a little twist here. So opening up to the side, pressing in with the arms to help keep the legs open. Maybe going into a little bit of a deeper twist. And if it's available for you, then you can come around here and do a little binding. Two. And three, changing sides, coming up through the long spine and then opening up. And the exhale, releasing here, coming back to our Uttanasana, standing forward fold, taking a moment for ourselves. Bending both knees, coming to a sitting position before then gently rolling down onto our mats. Sit the Madhasana plow pose one more time, pressing into the feet and the hands, lifting the hips up towards the sky. So here maybe exploring the pose, so dropping the hips a little bit on the next inhale, pressing down to come up. One more time, exhale, releasing. And inhale, pressing down to come up and exhale releasing all the way down grab your knees give yourself a little hug relaxing the body moving into a modified plow pose or halasana so hands down maybe you're just going to stay here and straighten out the legs and then work with lifting the hips a little bit up but if we go further then we're going to lift the hips and the lower back being careful here, I know that our backs might not be totally ready for a full halasana, but bring your hands to the hips and maybe just stay here for a little bit. 
can work on accepting the pose, releasing, relaxing where you can, but continuously finding length in your spine. And maybe if it feels all right, then you can start to straighten out the legs and dropping the toes down towards the floor. Finding and connecting with your breath. From here, we're gonna start to roll down back to laying on the mat. So maybe stretching the arms overhead, using the core, the legs, sending energy out through your toes, slowly lowering down. Very nice. Dropping the legs, taking a little moment here for yourself. So we're gonna find these, um, uh, window windshield wipers uh, going like back and forth into our twist. So here, breathing into your stomach, expanding on the exhale, pulling the whole thing in and your ribs, pressing your whole lower back down. And then we're going to start to drop the knees to one side, keeping the stomach active the whole time and bringing the knees up and the opposite side. Two more rounds coming up. Other side. If you feel like it's going too fast, then you can go ahead and adjust and do it in your own tempo. One final round both ways. And when you're finished, coming back to just laying on your mat. <sighs> Hands along the side, preparing for Siddha Bandhasana last time. So pressing down, lifting the hips up, going into the full version here. So watching that the knees aren't going out to the side, clasping the hands, straightening the arms, and then walking our shoulder blades together. So really pressing into the feet, coming further up here, opening your heart, active thighs, active glutes, active back. Final breath on the exhale, releasing the hands. Pulling the stomach in the same that we just did, rolling through the spine the whole way down. Excellent. Grab your, knee, your knees. Two breaths here, a little bit back and forth. And rolling along the spine, coming back up to sitting. Just a little ulasana lift, hands down beside the hips, pulling the stomach in. See if you can lift the hips up off the floor, straight arms. Exhale down, rolling over, finding a little vinyasa here. So hopping back or walking back to plank. Remember sending the weight forwards, lowering down gently. On the inhale, upward facing. And on the exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a moment here, just walking in the feet. And a few deep breaths. And preparing for a three-legged dog. So pressing into the hands, biceps rotating forwards. We're generally gonna lift up the right leg towards the sky, three-legged dog. And exhale, coming down, other side. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down. One more time, inhale, lifting up right leg, opening up the hips, finding our scorpion leg. Exhale, coming forwards, tiger curl, knee to chest. Inhale, coming back again, three-legged dog, lowering the leg down, other side. Inhale, the left leg is coming up. Coming, <laughs> opening up the hips, scorpion, bending the knee. Exhale, coming forwards, tiger curl, hold. Inhale, straightening, lengthening back. And the leg is coming down. A little break here, down in child's pose, balasana, dropping the knees, resting the hands, the wrists, and a few deep breaths. Very nice, yogis. We're gonna come back into our downward facing dog here. Preparing for three-legged dog. So the right leg is coming up on the inhale. On the exhale, tiger curl, coming forward and hold. Inhale back again, three-legged dog. Exhale, tiger curl. 
placing the foot down between our hands, dropping the back knee. So pulling ourselves forwards, finding this stretch in the front of our thigh. And then we're gonna push in the front foot, setting the hips backwards, opening up the back of the thigh and the leg. Pressing the front foot down to pull ourselves forward, stretching the front thigh one more time. And exhale, pressing back. Beautiful, inhale, coming forwards. From here, finding a little twist. So opposite hand down, maybe you have a block here that you're supporting yourself on, that's totally fine. Opening up the heart towards the knee that's bent. So stay here or lift the other arm up, maybe lift the back leg. And we're gonna move into our side plank, so dropping the back knee, rotating the back ball of the foot out to the side, uh, out past your mat, leaning gently into the left side body, or the left hand, the left knee, and then opening up the right side. So feel free to stay here if you wanna do a little flow, then on the inhale, think of rotating more, opening your heart. Remember, rotating the biceps forwards here, opening the chest. And on the exhale, closing the front body. Two more. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, pulling the stomach in and closing. Last one. Inhale, open up. And on the exhale, lengthening through the fingers forwards, coming back to the hands on the mat, bringing the, the right leg, so the same leg that was forward the first time, bringing it forwards again. So doing the same thing that we just did, but without the hands on the floor. So coming up either hands on the hips or up above us. Pressing together, opening up. So finding this heart opener back bend here, really stretching the front of the, of the thigh. On the exhale, pulling in the abdominals, pressing into the standing leg, coming forwards, dropping the hands. Two more. On the inhale, coming up. On the exhale, and back. On the inhale, coming up, last round. On the exhale, coming down, lifting the back knee. Pressing into the feet, shift of weight, coming up with the body, breathing in, arms coming up. Very nice, guys. On the exhale here, we're gonna drop forward, straightening the front leg into our, into our uh, pyramid pose. And then bending the straight, bending the front leg, coming up with the hands, breathing in, open your heart. And exhale, coming down, straightening. One more. Bending, breathing in, coming up. Exhale, staying up this time, find length out of the fingers, opening the back leg into our warrior two. Bending the front knee, coming deeper into the pose. Pressing into the feet, active thighs, knees pointing the same direction as the toes, length out of the fingers. Inhale, straightening, coming up. Exhale, coming down, two more. Inhale, coming up, really working that front thigh and out. On the inhale, come up, find this length, arms down. Sending length out through the hands, pushing the hips backwards and finding our triangle pose, supporting on the thigh, the leg, maybe the other arm is up. If you have a block, then you could be supporting yourself on here as well. And three. On the exhale, pressing into the feet to come up, and then other side, leaning forwards to come back, opening up the opposite side. Reverse triangle, sending length out of the fingertips the entire time here, deep breaths. One final one, so either gazing down or up into the hand. On the exhale, sending the fingers out, this circular motion to come back down, and for a full vinyasa. Exhale, low plank. Inhale to upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Dropping the back knees, balasana, child's pose. Just a little rest here before we go on to the next side. So really releasing any tension in the body, taking some deep breath. Collecting our thoughts, our focus. and making our way back up again to downward facing. So other side, left leg is coming up, three-legged dog on the inhale. On the exhale, tiger curl, come forwards. Inhale, back one more time, three-legged dog. Exhale, coming forwards, hold. Making space, putting the knee down, dropping the back knee. 
Staying here, pulling yourselves forward, finding that stretch, active body. On the exhale, pressing into the foot, sending the hips backwards. Pulling ourselves forwards again, opening up, and exhale and back. Inhale, coming forward, so adding the arms and the hands here. So either just keep them here, so a little bit more challenging for the legs, or inhale, arms up, working into that heart opener. On the exhale, pressing into the foot, sending the hands down. Two more. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, folding over. And inhale, coming up. Dropping the hands down, finding this plank, runner's lunge. Uh, sorry, plank, sorry. <laughs> finding runner's lunge, lifting the back knee. Okay, very nice. Here, shift of weight, coming up with the hands. Inhale, find that length upwards. On the exhale, folding forwards, straightening the leg. On the inhale, working our way up again. On the exhale, folding forwards. On the inhale, coming back up. So we have to drop the back knee here and actually find this twist because I forgot to do the side plank on this side. <laughs> so just to take a step back and find the balance and make it equal on both sides, opening up into the twist. And then we're going to bring the ball out to the side, onto the floor, away from your mat, shifting the weight into the right hand, finding that length, and then staying here, stabilizing the shoulders, or moving into the flow, making it a little more challenging for the standing arm on the inhale, twisting, opening the heart. On the exhale, close. Two more. On the inhale, opening up. On the exhale, and close. Inhale, open up. Find some length, bringing the hand over the head, coming the furthest way, bringing the knee back between the legs, lifting up, and then we'll go straight into our warrior two. <sighs> Finding a nice strong pose here. And then we're gonna begin to flow. Inhale, straightening, lifting up. Maybe a little heart opener here too. Exhale, pulling down, gazing over the front head. Two more. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale, lowering down, very nice. Straightening here, finding our triangle, leaning over, pressing the hips back, and opening up the side body. Maybe you're feeling a little stretch in the back of your thigh and your leg as well. Pulling the shoulders away, spread your shoulder blades, deep breaths. Final breath. Press down the feet to come up with the torso and opposite side, leaning a little bit forwards to open up. Remember here, strong legs, find those strong straight lines without pressing into the knees, pressing them backwards and just resting into the joints. Final breath. Circular motion with the hands coming forwards to our plank position, full vinyasa. Low plank. Breathing in to upward facing. Breathing out to downward facing. Very nice, drop the knees, coming down to child's pose for a little rest. Very nice. Okay, excellent guys. One final breath here. Making our way back to downward facing dog and a full vinyasa to come up to, or sorry, not a full vinyasa, but just a vinyasa from here to come up to standing. So inhale, gazing forwards. On the exhale, bending the knees, hopping, jumping, or just walking forwards to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, folding over. And on the inhale, coming all the way up to standing. Exhale, mountain pose. So here, moving into a little balance, exhaust on a tree pose, spreading the toes, pressing down. Active body, finding that length. So hands are either in your hips or in front of your heart. 
Shifting the weight into the left leg, freeing the right. So maybe just stay here for a moment, fixing your drishti, your gaze on one spot. So the sole of the foot on the ankle, the leg, or all the way up. Pressing the foot and the thigh together, using your seat to pull your knee back without moving the hips back. Deep breaths. Maybe straightening the arms up, opening the heart. Very nice. Final breath. Begin releasing here, coming out of the pose, and then changing sides. Four. And your final breath, releasing here, full control, coming back to standing. So here we're gonna have a little bit of space between our legs, preparing for our chair pose. Hands, we're just gonna place them either in our hips or in front of our heart. So a little flow here in our chair pose, a little bit from side to side. So we're gonna start with just regular coming down, chair. And then straightening, and then we're gonna lift the right heel, pressing down into both feet the entire time, dropping the foot and then coming back down, coming up, lifting, other side. Continuing here, coming down again, changing sides. So pressing into the feet, coming up, lifting the heel and hold. Exhale, coming down, long spine here the whole time, pressing up, lifting the other heel. Very nice, and down. Inhale, coming up, lifting. Maybe we lift the foot up this time. And dropping down. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, press the come up. Ball, lifting. And down. One more time. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Lift, lift the foot. Find the balance and coming down. Lifting up. Lift up the foot. And down. Very nice. This time, shift the weight over to the side while we come up. It's a little bit more challenging for the one side, so we go down in the middle, shift the weight over to the other foot, and then start coming up, lifting the other, and down, one more round, over, and up, and down, and up. Okay, just one more variation. So coming down, shifting over, lifting the foot maybe down here, straightening up, lowering down, and over, lifting up, Woo! going down. If it's going too fast, then just slow it down. Coming over and up. Final round, coming down and up and back to standing. Ah, shaking out. Okay, very nice guys. Standing, coming to the front of our mat, pressing down into the feet. Mountain pose, taking a few breaths. Feeling the legs. the sensations that we're feeling now in the thighs, the seats. On our next inhale, we're gonna send the arms up. On the exhale, folding forwards to our Uttanasana. On the inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, hands down, walking, hopping, or jumping back to plank, vinyasa, low plank on the exhale. On the inhale, coming up. And exhale, rolling over, coming to our downward dog. Bringing the right leg forwards between the hands. Exhale, dropping the back knee, stretching the front of the thigh. We're gonna take a little bit of time here to just stretch out the body a little bit before resting in Shavasana. Four. And five. On the exhale, we're gonna to start to move into our twist. So opening the heart towards the knee that's bent. Maybe staying here or going a little bit deeper. So gazing behind us, using the back of the thigh, the hamstring, to try to lift the foot up and then grabbing a hold. Rotating here, the biceps out to the side or up towards the ceiling, and then pulling the leg in, dropping the hips more and more down.
four. And five. Releasing on the exhale, coming here into our pigeon pose. So the front leg dropping down underneath us, bending the knee, sending the hips down. So try not to open up here, sending the hips down, length out to the back leg, up to the spine, and then start to walk further forwards. Making sure we have no discomfort or pain in the knee. If there is, then we can always adjust the pose a little bit here, maybe bending both of the knees and then going over. Four. <laughs> On the exhale, coming up, hands under the shoulders. So maybe stay here, feeling this included stretch in the front of our thigh. So using the abdominals or the opposite hand is the knee coming into around the middle of the mat, twisting, looking either beside us or behind us. And then if it's available, maybe lifting the back leg and grabbing hold. Three. Four. And five. Releasing the leg here, hands back onto the shoulders and coming to our downward dog and then changing sides. But the left leg is coming forwards between the hands, dropping the back knee, pulling ourselves forward, stretching the front of the thigh. Two. The abdominals are engaged, maybe pressing the seat forward, lengthen your spine. Four. And five. Finding our twist. Staying here for five breaths or gazing more behind us. Trying to lift the back knee. So activating the hamstrings, pulling the heel in towards our seats. Rotating the biceps to the side or up, bending the elbow more and more down towards the floor. Opening the heart here as well. Noticing the standing hand that the biceps is still pointing forwards. We're supporting not just in the arm and on the joints, but also using our shoulder here. Four. And five. Releasing on the exhale, coming into our pigeon pose. So bringing the leg underneath us, straightening up the hips, length out behind us, up, and then walking the hands further and further forward. Exhale, start walking up the hands under the shoulders. So maybe stay here if this feels fine or opposite hand coming in to the middle of the mat, pressing down, finding your rotation, maybe bending the back leg and grabbing a hold. And five on the exhale, releasing the leg. Here, leaning over to the side, freeing the back leg just to swing forwards. Then coming to our seated forward fold, Pashibhutanasana. So same as in the beginning of the class, staying here, option to have bent knees, or if it's available, straightening them out. Finding some length upwards, the bandhas are on, 
On the exhale, the longest way forward, just grabbing our feet, yogi's choice, finding this length, and exhale, folding forwards. One final breath here. Releasing the pose. We're laying down onto our backs. Finding our supine twists, so dropping both knees down to one side. If you have a different favorite twist, then you can do that. Maybe straightening out the arm, gazing over that hand. Four. And five. Pulling the lower abdominals in, the knees are coming up, and then changing sides. Final breath, releasing the pose on the exhale, coming up. Finding our supine bound angle pose, so bringing the soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. Hands are just resting, maybe on the thighs as a weight, or arms over the head in cactus. Taking some deep breaths here, and just releasing any activity, any tensions in the body. So any final preparations for Shavasana when you're ready? You can maybe just straighten out the knees, finding this resting pose. Or if you want to put on some more clothes, grab a blanket or whatever you need, and take a moment to do that now. Taking a few deep breaths here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Releasing the bandhas. Releasing the active breath. Just noticing how the body is feeling here. And again, saying yes to the present moment. Without any resistance. I'm gonna give you a few moments here in silence.
start to come back from where we are. Moving the fingers and toes, hands and feet. Taking a few breaths, maybe stretching the arms over our head. And when you're ready, you can roll over onto one of your sides. And from here, coming up to a comfortable sitting position. Releasing the inside and the front of the thighs, finding some length in our spine, the neck, relaxing the face. We have a soft gaze or closing our eyes. Just taking a moment here for ourselves. Bring your hands together in front of our hearts. And bowing our heads in gratitude for the practice. Namaste. <laughs> All right. That was it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'm thinking Friday, this Friday is Christmas Eve. So I guess we won't have a class then. I'm not really sure. I think I'll send out a message and email and ask people if you want to, but let's um, stick around for a minute and, and uh, I can, uh, we can chat about it too, if you want. Um, okay, thanks very much for today. <laughs>